for a good player, when they swing their arm and hand back, you see how everything is more or less in a straight line. If my pace is even with the club, my arm, and my hand and wrist, guess what? It looks like a straight line. But watch what happens the minute I stop my arm flow. My hand and wrist, being a hinge, keeps going. It follows momentum. Going back, the club has momentum, my hand and wrist keeps going, even when I stop my arm. Now, when I come back the other way, if I stop my hand and wrist, it unhinges. The key to being a good player, don't let it unhinge. That's the problem you're having with your wood. That's the problem you're having with your wedge. That's the problem you're having with your five iron. All the same problem. You're letting your hinge unhinge too soon. So, how do you, how do you deal with this? The easiest way, hold the club light so you don't put pressure in your right hand because when you put pressure in your right hand for all of you or your trailing hand for a lefty which would be your left hand what happens is when we come down we push the club now you make this club go faster than your lead arm the minute it goes faster than your lead arm it goes by your lead arm now look what we just did to our hinge we unhinged it before you ever even got to the ball when you see somebody top a ball and they tell you I looked up I peeked it is not the case. It is not the case. You don't look up. What is it usually? It's the unhinging of your hands and wrists too soon. That's what does it. Watch. I'm going to swing this club back. I'm going to stop my arm flow. And I top the ball. I can top a ball just like anybody almost every time. Now how in the world after hitting golf balls for 55 years, can I top a ball every time? Simple. I unhinge my wrist before they get to the ball. The club bottoms out in midair. It never even gets to the ground. Now, before it gets to the ball, it's coming up. Oppositely, what creates sticking into the just ground? Stay in my world, Bill. I'll get to you the opposite in just a second. Here's the deal. When you swing this golf club and you bottom out too soon, like I said, the club comes up like this. Here's what it looks like. I push from here, push from here, the club bottoms out, comes up and tops the ball. The tension that you have in your hand, the tension you have in your hand trying to hit at the ball cause you to push the club and the minute you push that club, it bottoms out too soon, it goes faster than your lead arm and comes up and tops it. Now, you merely have to lead the club through the ball. The minute you try to hit at the ball, and this is what I have, I have come to appreciate about the average golfer, they have hitting at the ball in their mind. It is the biggest deterrent to being a good player that I know of. A good player thinks of swinging the club through to a finish and the ball gets in the way of the swing. A higher handicapper hits at the ball, and the minute you hit at the ball, what do we do? We stop the flow. Because we're, our end result, or everything we're trying to accomplish, is right at the ball. For a good player, they keep the swing going and get to a finish. Their end result is the finish of a golf swing, not the ball. Okay. For instance, come on over here for a second. Here's your chance to get even. Now, stand right here. Now I want you to slap my hand with your right hand. Very good. Right. This is why he has a pretty good golf swing. It carries through to everything he does. He has the instinct to not stop at my hand. Most people, when they slap my hand, they go like this. You just hold your hand, my turn. And they stop right here. The minute you stop, what happens? Your hand and wrist being a hinge unhinges. It ruins the whole deal. Thank you. You're welcome. So, you if you take this, <laughs> mentally maybe, <laughs> if you take this, and this is where we run into trouble over by the chipping green, it becomes a nightmare for most people to hit a soft shot because their hands are so tight and their instinct to hit at the ball, right. they're dead. They skull it, they hit problem. behind it. The key to this is mother nature. For instance, if I took this club to here, and I just let go with my right hand, how far will it go through to the other side? 
virtually the same distance. Watch it, pendulum swing pretty much even, don't they? Same speed too. Now, a pendulum doesn't start here and stop here because if it stopped there, we'd have another set of problems we'd have to worry about. But it doesn't stop. The momentum keeps it going because of gravity. Gravity has a specific pull. The minute this club starts down, it goes downhill long enough to build just enough speed to almost reach the same distance on the other side. Now, your golf swing is exactly the same rules. When you put your hand on a golf club and I swing my arm to here, I know if I just let it fall, it's got to get to almost the same distance on the other side. The only reason it doesn't is because you didn't let it happen. Now, when I swing my golf club back to here and then I let it just fall through, what am I doing? I'm leading the club. My left arm and hand constantly stays ahead of the club. My wrist, because it's ahead of the club, hinges and it creates an angle. An angle. That's your stored up power. That's the hinge hinging. If you prevent that from happening and you stop the flow, it unhinges. So a golfer has to keep their lead arm and hand leading so that the angle forms. In other words, the hinge stays hinged. So that being the case, if I just merely swing the club back and through, it is no issue if I lead the club. The issue is when I hit at it, I push the club at the ball, it bottoms out too soon, comes up, whiffs it, tops it, whatever. Here it is, right here. Wonder how you skull that shot, there it is. It's not because you looked up. Watch this. If you think it's because I looked up, watch this. And you tell me if my head comes up. I'll even put it on a tee. I can miss it every time. Miss it every time. I see players do this all day long. And the reason I can miss it every time is because I push from here, it bottoms out midair and comes up before it ever gets to the ball.